It's springtime on Saturn, and the hexagon is out. A perfect six-sided hurricane, 60 miles deep, that could swallow four Earths. It's ringed by winds of ammonia and hydrogen blowing 220 miles an hour. The storm was seen by the twin Voyager spacecraft when they passed by in the early 80s. That was the last time until recently that sunlight graced the north pole of Saturn, which takes 30 of our years to make one circuit of the sun. Soon after the Voyagers departed, winter descended. Saturn's rings tipped away from us, plunging the North Pole into 15 years of darkness. Without sunlight, astronomers were limited to infrared images. They showed the hexagon was still there. But what is it? The hexagon is a narrow jet stream that circles the North Pole. Researchers think that friction with the slower clouds on either side of it creates eddies, mini storms that push the jet stream into a wave-like shape as it goes around. By spinning columns of water at different speeds, scientists have been able to reproduce the six-sided pattern in the lab. In January of 2009, the sun began its slow rise in Saturn's north. Summer was coming. The Cassini spacecraft was there to see it. In the coming months, Cassini will slip between Saturn and its rings to pass right over the storm for a closer look. But that's not all there is to see up north. Saturn has an aurora, its own version of the northern lights, a ring of electrical fire guided by the planet's magnetic field. Rings of ice and a dancing ribbon of aurora sitting smack on top of a six-sided hurricane. Another jewel in the crown of the solar system's most photogenic planet, where the voyage and the discoveries go on.